uh, Salesforce account one. OK, so this setup uh, yeah, will take uh, lots of effort and you need to understand. Uh, very uh, like this, you need to give some effort to understand and this will help you a lot. Whenever you are going to work for new soft project, 80% possibility will be there. Uh, you are going to work on this uh, Salesforce. You are going to integrate with Salesforce. OK, so you need to uh, have some basic understanding of Salesforce admin side okay, that I'm going to give today. OK, so first what you need to do, you need to have one account on developer.salesforce.com. OK, so. So here developer.salesforce.com you need to do sign up. OK, you need to provide all your details. Like first name, everything you will provide here and then click on sign up option. OK, one thing like you can create multiple account using same email ID. Only thing you need to change that will be username. This username must be unique. OK, email you can use same email multiple times. OK, once you will click on sign up option, it will. It will take you on login page or maybe first time it will take you directly in profile page. So I have already account, so I'm going to login page. Here I have given my user ID and password and click on login. So ask me to change password. OK, so let me change password. As I told, like uh, maybe first time it will take you directly in uh, profile page, but if not, then you can do login and you can come to your profile page. Okay, so here, like we will go through multiple things. So first, start with this uh, object and fields. So first thing I want to explain like how you will able to like how you will see existing object, their field details and everything. And second thing, how you will like uh, able to, how you will create custom objects. So these two thing we will see first. So in this object and field, you will able to see object manager. So inside object manager, you can see like these all are predefined objects like these all are standard objects. Okay. I created some custom object also. You will get one, two, three, like you can see this custom object, but most of the you will you will able to see these are standard object. This this object is provided by Salesforce itself. Okay, many places means many, many customers are using so they they themselves created and they are providing as a standard object. But if this standard object will not fulfill you, fulfill your requirement, then you can create <coughs> custom object. OK, so to create custom object, what you need to do here, you will be able to see create option. OK, then you will be able to see. Custom object. It will ask you object label. So you can give anything like let me use demo. OK, so here also I'm this only. Then it will so by default it will ask it will create means it must need one. Custom element. So you need to keep so here it's taking demo July name. Let me make it like this. So this will be filled. What will be created inside this custom object 
a part of this also there will be some more default elements or you can say uh, fields will be there okay so this is the data type so i am taking as a text only and then click on save You can see this custom object got created demo July. And this is here. You can see all the fields name and their relationship. So as I mentioned, this created by last modified by owner. These all are by default one. OK. Demo July name. This one I created just one. So you can see indexed one. So this this means like this one each. Uh, primary. This this must be primary key, OK? But if you create a new field there, all that one also you can make as a primary. So there will be some steps we will see. OK, now if you want to add new elements here, OK, let's say new fields you want to inside this custom object, you want to add more fields. Okay. So you will see this. You can see this new option. Click on this. Then here like you will get multiple data type, so you will select any data type. Let's say text. New. It will ask you field name, so let me take name. And then length, I will take 50 character. Field name, let it be name only. Now here you will see like uh, this field will be required or not. This will be unique or not. If you want to use external, if you want to make it external ID then you need to select this option. An external ID generally we use whenever we want to do absurd operation and all. Then we use this external ID. So either you can use default one, that name one, what we just now created name and honor was there. Either you can use that one, or if you want to define your own, then you need to select this external ID. Let me select for now. OK, and click on next. And then click on next. And click on save. So here you can see this name got created and whatever like custom. Fields are there inside this custom object. We have created this custom field. So you can see field name coming as underscore underscore C. So if you have anything custom that must contain underscore underscore C, either it's a custom object or custom field. OK, and as I told, like I will say if I will select external ID difference, then this will come as an indexed ID tick mark. If I want to create few more field, then next. Then data type, let's say number. Next. Then this one, let's say role. Length, integer length, uh, let's let it be 18. Click on next. See. So you can say this rule one. This is also custom field, so you can see here. This field name coming as a role underscore underscore C and whenever you do and write any query and all you, you need to use this field name only this display name field label will be different like field label we don't use. So we use field name okay, if you want to retrieve this particular field value, then you need to use this. 
okay and this one you can see there is no index tick here means this will not be external reference id if it is external reference id then it must cut have this tick mark okay so we seen like how to create this custom object now how to create data manually in this custom object and how to retrieve data of this custom object that we will see okay so for that you need to click on this icon and click on your name so here you can see the we have multiple objects okay and if you will click on any object you will able to see that object detail okay so these all are entry for this particular object now here i can't see like we can't see our object what we have created just now okay we created demo july something like that that we can't see here so if you want to add that particular object in this particular list to see here so what you need to do so you need to go to setup this setup and here search for tabs Okay, you can see here tabs click on this so here you can see i have created <coughs> multiple tabs so now i will create for demo one okay new so i want demo july one select this and style let's take anything click on next next okay so i created demo july if you go here still you can't see demo july just to replace this page so you can see here demo july click on that demo july you will able to see here now for this demo july there is no data since just now i created so what i will do i will click on new and i will insert one data so here you can see test 1 2 3 created but i can't see any other fields here we had multiple fields in this see this many fields are there but i can see only one field here so how you will add another field in this display so you need to go to setup Okay, so first you need to select this all one then set up this set up and then select field to display and here what all fields you want you need to select all those field so i don't want everything i want name role defined date last modified by okay and click here so you will able to see all this custom fields here you can see now you can see field name alias like co created name role everything you can see here and if you want to do more entry click on new and do entry 
Okay, so so far we see like how to create Salesforce account, how to create custom object, how to add fields there. Okay, and then how to create or make a entry in this object or this like step will be same for other object also. How to make entry, how to customize their field, which fields need to be displayed, how to create tab for custom. Uh, custom uh, object. OK, here also like we have one more setting where you can move the position also. That one I think. some option here we need to explore a bit so you can change the position like you can put this as a first object okay that also you can do okay next we will see like how we will retrieve data like how we can see the data and all in this uh, salesforce object okay so for that click on this and you can see here developer console click on this developer console so you can see here uh, we have query out of by default it will give you query but you can customize okay select name roll number from this abc underscore so for c this is the another object, OK? So we can take from our object also and let's let's take from existing other object. OK, so here once you will write this, then you will get execute query option. So you can see here we are getting one data. After running this query, we got this name and roll number. This one record is there. OK, so this particular developer console using this you will able to call any. So. Salesforce object and retrieve data insert insert one I need to check, but you can retrieve another operation you can do. OK, let me know. I think uh, we are done with this all basic thing in admin side what we are going to use. But still, if anyone has any doubt, you can ask.